Welcome to our CyberNet YouTube channel. In this video, we'll show you how to set up a dual WAN setup with PFSense. This powerful open source firewall software allows you to configure two WAN connections, set up internet failover, and load balance traffic for increased throughput. This configuration is ideal for businesses or organizations that require a reliable and high-speed internet connection. Let's get started. The first step in setting up to configure multiple WAN connections. By going to Interfacers, Assignments. You can do this by adding additional interfaces to your PFSense firewall. Make sure that each interface is connected to a different internet service provider. Next you need to set up Gateway Monitoring IP for monitor your WAN connection online. I'm using Google DNS address for Gateway Monitoring IP. You can manually change gateways in here. Current gateway address showing like this. Step 2. Configuring failover once you have multiple WAN connections set up. You'll need to configure failover. This can be done in the PFSense web interface by going to System, Routing, Gateway Groups. Here, you can set up a gateway group with your WAN connections. Tier 1 is priority level 1, tier 2 is priority level 2 like that. You can also set up a failover rule. You can choose from a variety of options such as member down, packet loss, high latency and packet loss or high latency, which will automatically switch to a secondary connection if the primary connection goes down. I'm using trigger level as packet loss. You can choice it as your own. Configuring internet load balancing to balance traffic across multiple connections, you'll need to configure load balancing. This can also be done in the PFSense web interface. Here, you can set up a gateway group with your WAN connections and configure the load balancing algorithm. You need to set both WAN gateway to tier 1 for load balance. You can choose variety of options for trigger level but best option is packet loss or high latency. I'm using this one. Also you can write a description on description area. After that click save and apply changes button. Step 3. Testing your failover and load balancing Once you have your failover and load balancing configured, it's important to test your setup. You can do this by disconnecting one of your WAN connections and ensuring that traffic automatically switches to the secondary connection. You can also test your load balancing by monitoring the traffic on each connection and ensuring that it is being distributed evenly. 
keep watching this video and you can see how failover and load balancing work. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I am using this through VMware so the packet loss shows a bit more. But if you use a separate computer for PFSense, this will happen without packet loss when switching gateways. If you want to change the host's WAN address separately, it can be done by adding a firewall rule. Go to Firewall, Rules, and LAN, and add a new rule. Set the protocol to any, the source to a single host or alias, and enter the IP address of the host's device.
and write a description for this rule. After that click Display Advanced Options. Scroll down. And you can see the Gateway option. Select any gateway you want and click the Save button and apply the Changes button. Then you can check whether your rule is working or not. Did you learn something new? Tell in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Conclusion In this video, we've shown you how to set up failover and internet load balancing using PFSense. By configuring multiple WAN connections, failover rules, and load balancing algorithms, you can ensure that your network stays online and that traffic is distributed evenly across multiple connections. Remember to test your setup to ensure that everything is working as expected. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our Cybernet YouTube channel for more videos on networking and cybersecurity.